Still no cloth. Looms are complicated. I'm working on it. Here's some popcorn. No butter, and we ran out of salt. It's great. Thanks, Thomas. is a huge strawberry shortcake. Thanks! You get extra since you helped! Although, Cameron has been telling us that we really shouldn't celebrate the summer festival since it's a folk tradition. He says old superstitions block our way to the summit. Maybe this will be my last year. Hey, Kai! I was hoping you might have something that the new meteorologist needs. Oh, right, I met her. She's like really into tea. Uh-huh. Do you have any silk thread? Ah, I've got something better. Silk worms. Ew. Nah, they're dope. You just gotta feed them mulberry leaves every day and on day 10, ta-da, my friend. <laughs> totally organic silk. But you gotta build these little buddies a box first. Then they'll be like, uh, totally chill. Uh-oh. I have seen that look in your eye before, Finn. <laughs> it's nothing. I just... <laughs> put shaving foam instead of whipped cream on the mere slice of cake. Great tradition this is, Lena. Yes. I like to think my ancestors would be pleased that we haven't forgotten them. I don't venture into town too often, but days like these, well, I think it's worth the noise. <laughs> summer festivals. Picks of bonfires always blow up on social. Do they have a summer festival in Milkwater too, Vanessa? Yes, but it's far less charming. There's a big parade and a carnival. Just a loud mess, really. Fine day, eh, Parker? Always is. Sad that all that perfectly good wood will be going up in smoke, though. Funny custom, a summer festival. But then, all holidays are relics of a superstitious, more primitive past. The cake is good, though. There's cake? Where? <laughs> Woohoo, summer! Who wants some wheat ale? Happy <laughs> Summer Festival. I love a good celebration. This festival is so fun! Eh. It's fine, I guess. You should have been here when my dad was mayor and my mom was captain. <laughs> that was a slimming party. Enjoying the festival, Francis? I'll enjoy getting my partner back. 
He's been coming home in a cloud of powdered sugar every night. Have you got my silk, then? Not yet. Oh, if only I was the type to wear posh silk pants, I could have sewn them into parachutes. Wait, you're saying you would have turned your underwear into... For science. That carpenter fellow, Parker, told me that you're the one to thank for helping repair the bridge to reopen the mountain pass. Although the mayor certainly seemed keen to take all the credit. Parker told me you're the one to thank for the bridge to the mountain pass being open again. Thanks so much. Oh, it was nothing. Ah, the hot springs are so restorative. You know, I used to go to the onsen all the time with my grandma when we would go visit her in Japan. Well, until I turned 11 or so, then I just felt out of place. Oh, it'd be so nice to have an onsen here with private stalls so everyone can take in the waters while feeling safe and comfortable. We just need some wood. And stones. You need my help to build the onsen, Kim? Only if it's no trouble. I can't wait to see the bonfire, Sophia. I know, it's even bigger than the one Vanessa put together last year. Uh, not that it's a competition, but if it was, I would win. <laughs> All thanks to your help. Happy Summer Festival Day! Of course, I like the winter one better. Well, there's no mistletoe in summer. <laughs> Having fun, Kim? Yep, there's nothing I love more than forced communal merriment. Hi, Emmy. Had some popcorn? No, just three pieces of cake and some s'mores. Summer festival is the best! The best! Why can't we have the summer festival inside Kim's store? They keep the AC blasting. The butcher shop is the most interesting place on the island anyway. Having a good day, Sebastian? Hurt you! Ugh, my sister made me help her haul over all the sunflowers this morning. I'm gonna be sneezing all day. Excited for the festival, Amira? I suppose. I just hope Damon is sparing with the libations. I don't have enough burn cream if too many people get close to the bonfire. I met Wesley, Grandma. He gave me your journal. I'll keep it safe, I promise. I miss you. I love a good bonfire. Just staring into the fire and thinking about, like, deep stuff about life.
Well, isn't everyone just having the grandest time? Do you think it's time we head to the beach for the nighttime celebrations? Okay, let's all head to the beach. Everyone, I'm so glad you could all be here. There's one thing I want to say before the party really gets started. Every year, the captain of the summer festival crowns a summer tide star. The star is someone we want to feel special and appreciated. So, this year, I wanted to crown someone who's only been with us a few months, but has already been through so much on Fairhaven. Tara. You will always be welcome here. And I'm making you the Summertide Star so you'll never forget. Oh, Sophia. That's so sweet. Even though Hazel's passed, we're all still here for you. Let's get a round of applause for Tara Wilde, our Summertide Star. Now, go on. Take your seat and enjoy yourself. Time to light this thing. Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you, Sophia. Gosh, what a blaze. That's very on fire. <laughs> Is a bonfire supposed to be that big and, um, fiery? In any case, I'm so proud of this community for coming together for yet another wonderful summer festival. Ah. It's hard to follow in Mrs. Soft's shoes. What the... what? Did, did I fall and it hit my head? Ah! A human! Hold on. Tara Wild? Is that you? Yes. Uh, but, but who are you? You're familiar, but I can't... Oh, buckles and buttons! It sure is, Tara! Ariel, if this is a prank, I'm going to blast you. You think I did this? <laughs> I like a good joke, but I know the rules. Which? What have you done? I didn't do this, I swear! Sophia just named me the Summertide Star, and I... ended up here. No. We haven't called a Summertide Star here for generations. The townspeople forgot us long ago. Teleportation magic is advanced. It's not something a new witch could know. But if she didn't send herself here, then who? Again! What? Who were those people? Were they even people? Whew. I don't think anybody saw. Otto is still talking. Did time even pass here? And I would like to say one more thing. We must remember that we must all unite to keep Fairhaven safe. And that is why I am announcing the founding of the Fairhaven Culture Committee. The Fairhaven Culture Committee will preserve our history and champion our unique culture and values. Whose history? Whose culture? Well, I've run my mouth long enough. May the rest of the summer be bounteous, friends. I'd better go see if the Coven knows anything about whatever just happened. Now the sun begins to wane. We celebrate nature's gifts and ready ourselves for the harvest. Farseer, uh, you know the Fey folk you keep mentioning? I think they teleported me to their magical village in the middle of the summer festival. Could be. I expect they liked your gifts. One of them was short, with pink hair, and another one was covered in fur. The third had, I can't believe I'm saying this, backwards feet. What was that place? <laughs> On some nights, the walls between the worlds become thin. There's more than one world? Shh. You 
won't be able to journey back there the same way again. Well, how can I get back there? By boat would be the proper way. But I don't have a boat. Of course you do. In the lake by your farm. It was Hazel's, and bonded to her Aunt Vivian before her. Always been there. You just didn't have eyes to see. Did your, uh, your friends like the milk and honey? Didn't ask. Can't be bothering them for compliments. Oh, here's something for your troubles. Here, eyes to see. Maybe when I visited that strange place, the veil hiding this pope was lifted. <laughs> Yeesh, is she even seaworthy? I better fix it up before trying to sail anywhere. Things I want, but... What? 
Looking forward to some time off this summer, Amira? <laughs> Warm weather means people who have been inside for months will suddenly attempt outdoor activities. I'll be setting sprained ankles all summer. <laughs> Am I sure this is the Adept Witch? I'll have to make another potion and explain myself if I'm wrong. Um, here you go, Dr. Syed. What is this? Oh, uh... <laughs> I'm just fooling with you, Terra June. Well done. I suppose the honey and mint might have been a bit of a giveaway. The others might present a bigger challenge. Talk to the coven members and see if any are willing to take this leap of faith. should I soak for?
So, I hear you're the one who welcomed the meteorologist to town, Tara. Yeah, Otto Mullen forced me for the job. But Giva seems nice, so I didn't mind. She may be nice, but her presence here could be dangerous. She came here to look into Fairhaven's weather patterns. We caused those weather patterns. She's just researching. It's harmless, right? Maybe, and maybe not. Maybe it's a front. If she's a competent meteorologist, she'll dig far enough into the island's weather that she just might find us at the center. We should all keep an eye on her discoveries. Oh wait, no, no. I, I don't think that's what Grandma would have wanted. Didn't she warn us against this exact attitude? Even if Giva does uncover something that points to us, that isn't necessarily bad. Maybe she's trustworthy. I wish I agreed with you, but as witches, we can never be too careful. We're not only responsible for our own safety, but the safety of the entire island, even the parts beyond the veil. Hey, new witch. Is it my turn to unmask? This thing is getting pretty itchy. Hey, you know, if you want to just take it off, I won't tell anyone. Nice try, but you gotta work for it. I need you to brew me a bottle of something so good, it'll make you float right off the ground. Literally. It's a levitation potion. So witches do fly? Yeah, but we need the right juice to do it. Don't go drinking it just yet. It's for your broom. You can't be serious. Witches don't actually fly on brooms. Of course we do, but not like regular brooms. That would be ridiculous. <laughs> yes, that would be ridiculous. Here's the recipe. You'll need to use your distillery as well as your cauldron to get it just right. I found the boat, just like you said, but I haven't fixed it up yet. It will be worth the effort. She's a fair vessel. Served Hazel well.
What's inside, I cannot see. I'll open you up and set you free. What's inside, I cannot see. I'll open you up and set you free. inside I cannot see. I'll open you up and set you free. inside I cannot see. I'll open you up and set you free.
I need to find the key to this door. like a key to the next level. What's inside, I cannot see. I'll open you up and set you free.
All right, Tara, get a load of this! My finest work yet! I don't want to say that it looks the same, but it looks the same. It's how she flies that matters, not how she looks, silly. <laughs> and she'll only fly for you. Now, you'll only want to use this broom in Fairhaven. Perry placed a charm here to keep witches from coming and going unannounced. Oh, and you can forget about taking your broom into the glo- Oops, I poured said too much. No, oh, Lucifer. <sighs> never mind, never mind. The glow? What's the glow? Nothing, nothing at all. Anyway, uh, oh, here's some levitation potion. You'll, uh, need to keep her fully charged to fly around, so, uh, keep a batch of levitation potion brewing whenever you can. Is it a... Thank you. 
Did Hazel ever tell you that she met Robert at the summer festival? The teenagers used to challenge each other to jump over the bonfire, you see. Robert waited until it was stacked really high, and then he took the biggest leap. And he cleared it? No. His pants caught fire and Hazel dumped her lemonade on him to put it out. <laughs> ah, it was the beginning of a great love story. Everyone, I'm sorry. It was my idea to break into Town Hall. I thought so. Nice work. And I helped, but I am not sorry. Violet had a good reason. I know, novice. I'm getting there. The town of Fairhaven has had the Keystone since the mine operation shut down. I've been asking for it back, but I can't explain how something belonging to me wound up in the mine. Acolyte? Novice, you put us in danger. However, you are also right about something. We've been too cautious towards the gloaming. Hear, hear! But we can't afford to be cautious any longer. The Wellspring needs offerings. And lately, it's become so hard to keep the balance. But before we can open the portal into the gloaming, we must first ensure that none of the villagers in town can accidentally wander in. For their safety and ours, the two of you will help us in this task. At least I get help this time. <sighs> I was afraid you were going to kick me out of the coven. Course not. We can't let go of anyone or we'll be too weak to turn the seasons. Also, we're too dang fond of you both. We'll make it up to you. We promise. Thanks, you two. Time for bed? Thank <laughs> you. 
The time for walking slow has passed. Lighten my feet and make me fast. Things I want but don't yet have. Get off the ground and in my bag.
Who's a good kitty? What's inside, I cannot see. I'll open you up and set you free. What's inside, I cannot see. I'll open you up and set you free.
What's inside, I cannot see. I'll open you up and set you free. I could eat some... Inside, I cannot see. I'll open you up and set you free.
Inside, I cannot see. I'll open you up and set you free. Thank <laughs> you. 
What's inside, I cannot see. I'll open you up and set you free. What's inside, I cannot see. I'll open you up and set you free. I could eat.
inside I cannot see. I'll open you up and set you free. Should I go to... How illuminating!
it, Talia? Oh, I've been thinking of you. If you haven't seen... Oh, that man really is just a blessing to this community. Oh, this is great. It's time to change the season. I'm ready. Let's do this. Wonderful. Everyone, take your positions. By this flame, and by this sacred sign, be this the essence of the divine. We call forth the healing power of water. Once again, we turn the wheel of the year. We say farewell to the maiden summer. And we welcome autumn. Is it a vision, Farseer? The town is soon to be beset by a dark force. What dark force? Did you see who it was? I couldn't see it clearly, but it's the same. It's the vision that first brought you here, isn't it, Farseer? We have long known this day would come. What day? What's happening? We'll discuss this later. The Farseer must rest. We all should get some sleep. We will need all our strength to prepare for what lies ahead. <laughs> Storms that make the river sing, fill my magic from the spring. 